So here's how the Zenas work. Okay, if you imagine, well, as I said before in some of my earlier videos, um, uh, as the batteries charge, their internal resistance goes up. Um, so it's pretty hard to measure the actual internal resistance, but it, it's all it's all what what it is relatively. So if we've got here battery A, say that's at 100 ohms internal resistance. Battery B is more highly charged than battery A, or it's um, got a lower capacity, so it reaches higher charge first. So that one's got 120 nominal written on it. Battery C 100, battery D 100. If you actually do the maths, um, what you're creating there is a, a voltage divider. So 100 plus 120 plus 100 plus 100 equals 420. So to work out the voltage at this point, so the voltage across that battery is 100, and 100 divided by 420. Sorry, 120 divided by 420 equals 0 0.2857. Multiply that by your absorbed voltage, which in my case is 58 volts. And you come up with 16.5 volts. So you're going to have 16.5 volts across that one with the higher internal resistance um, and if you do the same for the others in the string you end up with 13.8 volts so basically that battery that's charged earlier than the rest of them ends up boiling and the other batteries end up starved so what the Zener regulators do they're really simple um, it's a really simple concept but what they start to do is they start to blow off once you get to a certain voltage, I think it's sort of like about 14 and a half volts, it really starts to kick in. Uh, once you get to a certain voltage, uh, they'll start to blow off heat. So the intention is by blowing off a little bit of charge, up to 500 milliamps usually they do, um, then you're going to bring that battery's charge down a little bit so that these others get a chance to... By bringing the battery charge down a little bit, you also reduce the internal resistance, which allows these others to catch up. Um, as I said, it's only about 500 milliamps. So if you've got a really large, uh, if you've got really large batteries like um, uh, Chris does, you might actually want to put two of these regulators on per battery. Uh, up to you. Uh, also, the best, the time that they really work the best is right towards the end of absorb so um uh you know my 380 amp hour battery they start to really kick in well when it's down to about it's accepting about three amps so about one percent of the catchery one percent of the bank capacity uh, but yeah they work pretty well and what what happens is as each battery starts to catch up the little led light on the Zener regulators will light and basically when all of the lights are on, which is right towards the end of absorb, your batteries are then balanced. Okay, cheers.